By designing a material that can plug into existing infrastructure, we enable plastic manufacturers to switch over to planet-friendly materials. And then at the end of this material's life, there's actually an afterlife. Hi, Julia. Thank you for joining us today. So could you tell me a bit about Sway and what's the story behind your product? Sure. So we are a California-based company making replacements for thin film packaging from seaweed. And the reason that we do that is seaweed is inherently regenerative and abundant. It grows on every coastline in the world. Uh, we use seaweed farmed in the ocean to replace thin film plastics and it composts at the end of its life. Um, our goal is to help replenish the planet with this material. Amazing. So could you give me some examples of the products that you're making? Yes. So we are starting with thin film plastics only in applications where recyclable or reusable or package-free solutions are hard to come by. Uh, E-commerce is a great example of this. The poly bag, they're everywhere. There are 180 billion of them used every year. Um, if this material is uh, flown into a distribution center, it can be collected and composted at the end of its life. So there's a higher chance of reclamation and compost. And what we're doing with this formulation is ensuring that the benefits of seaweed are carried into the soil. So there's actually nutrient content that's carried over into the end of life. Uh, those are the first applications, but really the holy grail and what I'm most excited about is food packaging. It's just going to take us a little longer to get there. I see. So I'm seeing... Some obvious ways it's connected to the circular economy, but what would you say is how your product is connected? Right, so at every step of the supply chain, we try to implement practices of regeneration. That starts with working with ocean farms where the seaweed is actively replenishing ecosystems by providing habitat for biodiverse life, sequestering an absurd amount of carbon, reversing the effects of ocean acidification. But then it's not just ecological, there's also social benefit in the material actually, or sorry, seaweed cultivation actually providing sources of employment for coastal communities that have been affected by overfishing. So that's just the source, but by designing a material that can plug into existing infrastructure, we enable plastic manufacturers to switch over to planet-friendly materials. And then at the end of this material's life, there's actually an afterlife, like I mentioned. The material composts into healthy soil in your backyard compost bin, with your food scraps, with your garden waste, or in an industrial compost, creating healthy soil, which can then create healthy uh, plants and crops. That's really a full circle of different activities that this product is involved in and I think it's really exciting. So what do you see happening in your future? Well, by this time next year, it should be easy for you to come across Sway materials in uh, retail stores and from some of your favorite fashion brands. It just came out a couple days ago that Sway is a finalist in the Tom Ford Plastic Innovation Prize, working with 18 of the coolest fashion brands and home goods brands on the planet. Um, and that's just the beginning. So yeah, keep an eye out. We're also really excited to collaborate with ocean organizations, NGOs, and organizations like Ellen MacArthur to make sure people understand the value of truly regenerative materials. All right, thank you so much, Julia. I hope to see your product next to me next time. Yes, thank you. Maya. Cool, thank you. <laughs>